not really, connect, not really connected as much in the first half, and that sort of carried over uh, the second half. I just see that yeah. sort of play off of well, we, we we came into the game and uh, we didn't really have any, well, Tyler was questionable during the course of the week, so I w wasn't sure I was going to have a, a winger. So we we ad adapted into something that looked more like a diamond in the first part of the, the game, trying to keep the two strikers on, trying to give Ricky a little bit of some freedom to move but keep some structure. Uh, they're a tough team to play against because they'll man mark you. They just, once, they'll just lock onto you and they'll track you around the field and we became chaotic, I would say. Like we started to move too much, and uh, we were kind of all over the place. Guys were trying to get free of their marks and trying to find, uh, <clears throat> trying to find ways to help each other. And they're, the the group is pressing a little bit and trying to find ways to help each other. And we just we end up in bad spots. We end up like interchanging positions, and it was just too too much. We never really found a consistent, stable structure and just played the numbers, right? Play where the three versus two is, play to the next two versus one, and it just became like a jumbled mess. And the problem is when you are all over the place, when you have possession and you turn over the ball, you're in bad positions to defend in the transition. Um, you know, we still, we, we talked a lot this week, and the first goal kind of comes off of it. It's a set piece, yes, which we know they're very good at. But we play a straight ball to Ricky, who drops down, and we lose the ball right in front of our line, and it goes, and then it gets a corner kick, you know. And it's again an unnecessary loss of possession. We don't need to play the ball there. Jalen wasn't under tr in trouble, and we play kind of a, a lazy pass, and we're not ready for the pressure coming off off of us. We lose it, and and now we're defending a corner when we know that they're that's one of their strengths. They're a big team, and uh, we don't defend it well. Now we're down one, and now we feel again we're pressing a little bit more to try to. Pressing not from a defensive standpoint, pressing from a mentality of we've got to try to go get this. And the game was very narrow. And, you know, we needed to, to open the game more. We've got to stop forcing the game down the middle of the field and we've got to use the outside channels. We've got to get wide players in, into wide positions. Um, and so we, we made adjustments to try to make sure, ensure that we had some, some wide play. So then we rotated in something that looked more like a 3 5 2 to try to ensure some width uh, and um, I felt like we were we had some dangerous moments but then the issue becomes that we have so many guys high in the attack that when the ball turned over because of our impatience sometimes to try to force attacks to try to uh, to try to play long balls that we don't get behind them we lose it in front of them we have numbers high and then and then we put the back group in situations where they're now having to defend uh, you know, numbers running at them, guys with speed, some some challenging situations. So, I thought the balance of things was all off uh, in terms of um, you know the balance between playing outside versus playing inside, the balance of numbers being high versus being in low controlling positions. I felt like we were pressing uh, mentally, just pressing the whole game to try to get something out of it, and we exposed ourselves uh, too many times. Um, ACB return tonight uh, was a little bit more like an atmosphere that we've seen in the past, maybe not quite there with the other group still out. Um, and then at the end of the game, near the end of the game, they're chanting, we want better. Is your thoughts on that? That's a, uh, look, uh, we welcome them back. It wasn't the performance we wanted on the night. Uh, I think at the end of the day, from the performance, the chant, it was, it's fair. It needs to be better. Uh, part of what we need to do is just simplify some things inside of our game, simplify our structure, the two strikers. I got to take a hard look on whether we're gaining enough on the attacking side out of having two structures for what I believe we're losing on the defending side at times. Uh, so it's trying to find. Uh, and then some basic things, again, I think as a group, this group is, is eager, hungry, and has huge desire to try to get on the right side of these results. And I think as a process, and part of that is we're just we're overplaying things. We're trying to force balls into areas that are dangerous. They're turning into transitions. We're, we're rushing into our attacks versus, again, playing where the numbers game is. We're, we're, we're kind of our own worst enemy at times because of the mentality of us just trying, I think the group just trying to press to get onto the right side of things. And so we need to, again, simplify, simplify our structure, simplify some of our decisions, be a little bit more patient about things and make sure that we stay in, in good positions to defend and to control scenarios through the course of the game so we don't, we're not chasing games. Yeah.
Great. Uh, you had Sega start taking place of, uh, uh, of Jalen. Sega got injured. One, do you have an update on, on Sega? And what was the reasoning sort of for Jalen starting the game on the bench uh, for this game? Yeah, I mean, we, we for one, <clears throat> need to get uh, another center back going. Chris was the other one. Sagan needs to get going. We need to see. I wanted to get some physicality in the game, you know. I think one of the things that Jalen's been very good at is sort of his passing and some of that, but he's he's lost out on some physical duels at times. I thought, the, you know, the goal last week, I think one of the goals tonight when the ball's hanging in the air, sometimes we need to win some of those, just win some of those physical duels. And so... We needed to get Sega into the mix as he's, you know, had a stop start beginning of the season. I thought he came on last week and he looked solid in training. He's looked solid. And so I wanted to, I need to get him in the mix. We're going into eight games, potentially seven, eight games here in 26 days. Uh, I need to get some kind of rotation. Unfortunately, he gets injured and I'm not sure how quickly this recovery is going to be. I don't know exactly, but I know he's limping now, which isn't usually a good sign after the game when the guy is still struggling. So. Um, that was the main reason is we just got to get another guy kind of in the rotation who we feel like um, can help us out. And then I think you mentioned a little bit, but after 10 games now, one win, do you have to reassess things that maybe you thought you wouldn't have to reassess sure. at the start of the season? Yeah, you know, I think, <clears throat> I think through this first 10 games, I've tried some different things to look at how to get, you know, some of our most dangerous players on the field together, some of what some people would define as our best players on the field together. I don't necessarily go know if that's the case, but it's to see if if those group of players can fit together in a way that is both dangerous on the attacking side and scores goals, but also can uh, can defend well and with stability. Uh, so we've used this stretch to try to see if we can find the right ways to play with two strikers to do with to do some of those things. Um, now I think is is a hard reassessment of whether that's where we want to be in the grand scheme of things. Again, we're conceding, and we're not we're not getting goals. I mean, it, 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 so it's it's not been a uh, what I would say a, um, a viable or a, a realistic way forward in the moment. So that's why I say I think we need to simplify, find our structure again, and if we're <clears throat> if we're a little light one way or another, and in, in doing so, at least maybe we're cohesive and it's simple, and we're in something that feels normal and comfortable and for the group as we as we push forward. Hey Greg, uh, it feels at times like uh, this team kind of rushes through the things. Um, first of all, do you think that this team uh, mentally can be able to kind of uh, get it a little bit more together on the pitch? And as a coach, um, they look up to you, you're talking to them. How do you want to be able to get their mentality to be where you want it to be? Yeah, I, I think, you know, to be honest with you, I know sometimes it may or may not look like it that's depending on the eye of the beholder but I think the group's trying too hard sometimes to to turn the momentum right and then they're trying so hard and when things are we're forcing things and when things are faltering the frustration grows even higher because you're putting so much into it in many ways and that's what I feel from this group and I work with them every week and I know what their process was this weekend as a group and and the things they did together and what they wanted to to achieve and I know they're they're trying, and the frustration is I th I think they're we're forcing things too much, and in in the virtue of forcing and not getting the reward of forcing, you end up exposing yourself too much. So as I said to them, like we almost just need to take a step back and and simplify a little bit, and everyone needs to simplify their game and play play the simple numerical. We don't need to rush into the attack. We don't need to score the goal every single time we get on the ball within five six passes because we again I think we're the guy, the group is just they're on the worst enemy and in, in trying to do the the best thing i i firmly believe that I, that's their mentality is in the right place it's just it's uh they're trying over trying almost and i know that can show in frustration the other way but i don't believe it's that at all Yeah, it certainly played a role. I mean, we, you know, for me, I, I don't like to sit up here and make excuses for situations, but we we haven't done well enough to prevent goals and we haven't done well enough to score goals on a consistent basis. Um, by virtue of the 
ingredients that we've been given and the situations that we've been given over the course of the season between injuries, guys arriving late, different things. We have tried variations of things to, to see if we can find something that, um, that, that may be, for example, we don't have a ton of wide speed, for example. And because we don't have that, we're in, we're in front of the opposition a little bit. So if we get players who are clean on the ball, tidy, and can move, can that and we get the two forwards on the field, can that create some dangers and stuff like that? So we've we've looked at different things by virtue of who's available, by virtue of uh, you know a little bit of the cards we've been dealt. But at the end, I still think we need to be we still need to be cleaner. We need to be better. We need to be in these games, and uh, we need to be not conceding goals the way we're conceding goals. And uh, I think we need to be more efficient in front of the goal because it's not like. It's not like we're create, not creating decent looks in and around the box or that we have some that we just um, we're just not clean enough in the execution, you know. But I think, again, as we take a step back now and reevaluate where we are, I think it's a, you know, I think there's a very, for me, there's more clear pathway forward in my head now as I've tried a few different things with this group to see if we can get there, and we haven't. So I think simplicity is, uh, is going to be the best, the key for us. Hi, Greg. Hi. Ed, hi. Um, as you talk about the clear pathway and those things that you're clear in your head, um, I look at my team right now, for example, in the Premier League, and it's less about Who's your team? Arsenal. Okay. Yeah, sorry. That's okay. Um, and it, but I wanted to give the example because it's less about performance and it's more about results. Getting three points, yeah. right, at this point. Yeah. For you, as you're going through the motions that you're talking about, do you feel at this point it's more about performance versus the three points, knowing that there's plenty of time to make the playoffs? Like, where are you at in terms of the two, the juxtaposition between the two? Yeah, <clears throat> I think, I mean, I think it's always, there's always about results because the players feed off of the results. A lot of their confidence comes from, from the results and feeling and the things that come around are the feelings and emotions of people is based off of results. However, uh, I do I do think that a big part of us getting forward is getting into something that we feel and look very comfortable in. And that, I think, and as time, I believe, and this is how I always believe, that over time that will translate into the results. Uh, I'd like to think that they would happen fast, and I think we have the talent within the group to make things happen fast. But I think it's important that we not lose you know, we not lose ourselves completely in this process of trying to figure out how to get a result that we need to, again, go back to some of the things that I think the group is comfortable in. Again, maybe we don't have the perfect profile for a couple of these things, but we have guys who can do a role for us inside of that and get back into something that feels very natural and comfortable for us. Um, and I think the results will come off of that. I have to believe that that's the case because we have, like I said, we have good pieces. They just need to get back to simplifying things and trusting some of that process. Can I also add, like, with everything you're doing in training and stuff, do you, as a manager, do you feel let down by how they're performing a little bit? I know you trust them and you're fully behind your players, but in a sense, in terms of performance against, you know, Colorado's night, yep. do you feel a little bit... I get frustrated when we don't transition and defend, when we show emotion in situations or we lack resiliency sometimes when, the, when things are getting tough against us. Uh, those are the moments I get frustrated with the group. But I understand intimately their, where their heads are at and that they're trying extremely hard to, again, force, force the issue sometimes. And I don't... I don't believe in this game and the team that we have that that is the answer for us is to force the issue. I think we have to be more calculated, a little more more simple. Again, I think the beauty of our team at its best is when the ball is moving quickly and it's simple and it's from one guy to the next and we're getting from one side to the other side and we are pulling the opposition apart and then we're creating spaces that we something happen so I can change the momentum of the game and that and the season and and that becomes what I think you alluded to a little bit which is disconnection and it in a bit which is just so I, I don't my my communication to them is again just to trust themselves to trust 
the simplicity of things that is going to get them to where they where they want to be and where we all want to be. And I believe they under they understand that. But some of it's taking some of that that desire to want to make the play in that moment that ends up hurting us, uh, getting that out a little bit and just and simplifying some of our thought process. Uh, and I think as we do that. Um, I think we'll get there. Does that make me feel let down? Again, I think there's moments when the going gets tough where we need to be a little bit more resilient and we need to just work through it, understanding that that's where we're at. But I, I don't, um, I believe that we're all, we're in this together as a group. And so it's not, um, you know, me being upset with them or that. I think we, we're we working through this process together and, and working to get that on, you know, the right page, moving in the right direction. Okay, thanks.